In this video, you will learn how to create animation on pad with the new version of Artboard Studio. Let me create an artboard on my canvas. And then by using my pen tool, I'm creating a really simple pad and creating an ellipse shape on my canvas. Now, if I want to create an animation which this circle moves along the pad, all I need to just turning the animation mode is on and then choosing these two objects on my artboard. And when I choose these two objects, pads and the circle, and if my animation mode is on, like this, title also red, I will see animate on pad icon on top. If I hit this icon, it's automatically assigning this circle onto this pad. If I hit the play icon, now as you see, my circle is moving along the pad and also rotating automatically. Now, let's open the timeline editor and see what happens. Now I have animation pad keyframes. We have two keyframes key now. One is for the beginning, one for the end of the animation. I can still edit the time of this keyframe and I can still change the easing options of this animation. Plus, I can add other keyframes onto this circle. While moving this uh, shape on the pad, Let's you wanna change the color of this shape. While moving here on the third second, I wanna change, turn this color into red. If I hit the play, it is also moving on the pad and also changing the color automatically. And I can still choose all keyframes and change any, apply any other easing option. Let me show you how this auto rotation works. Let's create another <coughs> artboard next to this and create an, again, another simple shape for my pad. And then instead of a circle, now I'm going to create a rectangle because I wanna show how an auto rotation function works. If I choose these two objects while my animation mode is open, if I hit the animate on pet icon, it is also automatically rotating my rectangle based on the Bezier curvatures. So it's actually basically following those Beziers on my pet. If I hit the play icon now, as you see, the rectangle moving also rotating automatically based on my pet and based on my Beziers on this pet. The best part you don't need, you're not just limited to pet shapes. So let's say you want to create an animation on pet with a complicated shape. Let's create a star on this artboard, add more sides to make it more complicated. If I double click on this star, now it's going to turn the star into a pad, which means I can still edit the vector points like this. Now I'm creating another shape on top of this star. Again, let's use an ellipse and change the color into something else. Now if I enable the animation mode and select two objects on the artboard, and as you see, the animation on pad icons appears here, and if I hit this icon, it, it, it assigns the circle to the pad of this star. If I hit the play icon here, as you see, the circle following the path on the star. Another good thing is that let me, let's create, let's go to latest panel and choose this uh, star shape. I can hide this. So the moment I hide this shape, if I hit the play icon here, as you see, now I see just the circle is bouncing around. So you don't have to see your path all the time. Another good thing is that now this donut item, actually the circle on my cameras, I can also duplicate, I can also duplicate this uh, animation. And now actually I have two circles moving along the star shape on my cameras. So let's change the duration a little bit different and let's change the color into something else like this blue. If I hit the play icon now, as you see, I have two different circles with the same animation following the path of this star. So the sky is limit. You can create lots of great looking and eye catching animations with this new animation on path feature with Artboard Studio. Just go ahead and try yourself and create something crazy. And if you have any questions, just let us know in the comment section below. Bye.